right, kiddos, here we go. Second method for solving systems of equations. Now we're going to talk about elimination. Instead of substituting in this time, now we're going to eliminate, which is exactly what it sounds like. We're going to get rid of something. Elimination is best used when one variable completely eliminates. So let's do examples, okay? Here's how you test to see if elimination is going to work or not. Write down this first problem. If you look at your x's, you have 3x and negative 2x. They do not have the same coefficient, which means they don't have the same number in front of the variable. So their coefficients are not the same. So x's are not going to eliminate. But if you look at the y's, the y's both have a 2. They both have a coefficient of 2, and they happen to be opposites. One is negative, one is positive. If I add this set of equations together, 3x plus negative 2x is just going to be 1x. But if I add my y's, negative 2y plus 2y, they eliminate. Hence the word elimination. I just eliminated the y's. Then I'm going to add the rest of this. So I have negative 2 plus 3, which also equals 1. And so when I solve this problem, I divide both sides by 1, I end up with x equals 1. Now again, you're only halfway done, because now I have to go find out what y equals. And I treat this the same way as I did when doing substitution. I take what I know about x, and I substitute it into one of my original equations. In this case, it doesn't matter which one. I'm going to use the top one. So I'm going to do 3 times 1 minus 2y equals negative 2. That's just 3. And I'm going to solve this for y. I'm going to get rid of this 3 by subtracting 3 on both sides. And I end up with negative 2y equals negative 5. And then when I divide both sides by negative 2, my negatives cancel, and I just end up with y equals 5 over 2. So my answer in ordered pair form looks like this. But you see down here at the bottom, it also asks for x times y, which means I'm going to take what I know about x and y, and I'm going to multiply them. So I'm going to do 1 times 5 over 2, which 1 times anything is itself. That was easy multiplication. So let's try another one. Look at the next set of problems. If you look at the a's, they have the same exact coefficient. They both have a 1 in front. You've got 1a, but then you have a negative 1a. So they are the same coefficient, but they are opposites, which means... When I add, these opposites cancel, so I can add everything else. 2b plus b is 3b, 5 plus 4 is 9, and when I divide both sides by 3, b equals 3. Now to find a, I have to substitute what I know into either of the other equations. I'm going to use the top one because a is positive. So I'm going to do a plus 2 times 3 equals 5. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. And so if I subtract 6 from both sides, I end up that a equals negative 1. So when you're ordered pair, you don't have uh, x's and y's. You just put them in alphabetical order. So I'm going to do negative 1, 3, because that's a, b. And then down here, it asks you to do b minus a. So I get to do 3 minus negative 1. Well, that makes a leave change change problem. So that equals Now, they're not always so simple. Of course not. We always have to make it more difficult. Look at the next one. Your x's, you had 3x and 2x. They do not have the same coefficient, so I can't do anything with them. But look at your y's. I've got 1y and 1y. They do have the same coefficient, but in this problem, they're not opposites. They're both positive. If I were to add these up, they would not eliminate because y plus y does not equal 0. It equals 2y. So I have got to make it so that these are opposites. When this happens, you can take one of the equations, and it doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to take the top equation, and you have to multiply it by negative 1. That will change all the signs, but not any of the numbers. So my top equation is now negative 3x minus y equals negative 5, and my bottom equation stayed the same. So now when I add my equations, my y's eliminate because I have negative y plus y. They go away. So let's do our x's. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1x, and negative 5 plus 10 is 5. 
but I've got to get rid of that negative 1. So x equals negative 5. Now to find y, like I said before, use an original equation. One of the two that you were given. Don't use something you rewrote. Use an original equation. So I'm going to use the bottom one. I have 2 times negative 5 plus y equals 10. Well, that's negative 10. And when I add 10 to both sides to get y by itself, I get that y equals 20. So my ordered pair is negative 5 comma 20. So now let's do a word problem, everybody's favorite. So David and Jose, they went to Target to buy some clothes. David bought two shirts and one pair of jeans for $53.50. And then Jose bought two shirts and three pairs of jeans for $108.50. How much is one pair of jeans? Well, first of all, we have to set up variables. We're going to let x equal shirts and y equal jeans because that's what they bought at the store. When you write your equations, you get to write one equation for David and one equation for Jose. The equation for David, he bought two shirts plus one pair of pants for $53.50. Jose bought two shirts, three pairs of pants for $108.50. Now we get to talk about elimination. Look at your X's. Same coefficient, a 2 and a 2, but I need them to be opposite. So again, I've got to multiply by that negative 1. Take your top equation times negative 1. So you end up with negative 2x minus y is negative 53.50. And the bottom equation stays the same. Now these eliminate. So I can add these up. Negative 1 plus 3 gives me 2y. And when I add these up, I get 55. And if I divide both sides by 2, I will get that y equals 2750. Now go back to the problem. The question says, how much is one pair of jeans? It does not ask for how much a pair of shirts is. And if you look at my let statements, I said y equals jeans. So right here, one pair of jeans is $27.50. I don't have to do anything else because now I have my answer. So there it is, solved and done. That is elimination. I will see you guys tomorrow.